Hi everyone, this is Christine and welcome to another tech skills video for parents. Today we're going to be going over how to share a Google Drive file with other people. So Google is a great way to collaborate with others and share out information without having to actually physically print something out or email somebody. So when you're in Google Drive, as you can see on my screen right here, I'm already logged in as Grace Giraffe and you'd like to share a file, you have two different options. From your drive, you can right click on the file to share it. So we're going to be using this demo document right down here as our file to share. If I right click on this, you'll see menu options come up. So you have preview, you can open it, and the third one down, you'll see share. And this is the share symbol that Google uses. It looks like a little person with a plus sign next to it. You'll also see that you can get a shareable link. So there's some options on how you can share this from here. So let's choose the first option, share. You'll see a new window will automatically pop up and you can share in two ways. You can share with people by adding their email address or if your child's school has groups set up, your child can share with a whole group. Or you can get a link to send to people. So the first option, if I start typing in my email address, you'll see that my name will come up, right? Because I'm right now logged in as Grace, so I can share it with myself if I wanted to or with anybody else that you want. And you can do this with multiple people. So for example, if I choose myself, I can also choose to share it with Kaylee simply by entering a new name and you'll see multiple people will be divided just like this inside here. One thing to note about the sharing permissions is that currently I am going to share this doc with myself and Kaylee and we are both going to be editors. So this box here is very important to note. That means that whoever I'm sharing with over here can edit my document at any time. If I didn't want them to edit that, if I just wanted to, them to be able to see it, I could change this permission to viewer. This means that whoever you're sharing with can see the document but has no editing or commenting access. Or you can change it to commenter. This means whoever you're sharing with can leave comments, which will pop up on the side, but they won't actually be able to edit the document itself. So just something to be aware of, and your child's teacher might tell you, give me editing access or give me viewer access or something like that. So if you hear those terms, that's where you would find this. You can also add a message here like a little email message, and you'll see notify is checked off. This means these people are going to be getting email notifications that they've been shared on a document, right? And then when you're ready, all you would need to do is click send down here, and it will send the invite and share with people. The other way to do this is from actually inside the document itself. So I'm going to double click so now I'm in demo document one and you'll see on the top right corner, right next to where my picture is for my login, you'll see this big blue share button. This is another way that you can share from within the document itself. And this will work for Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, all, all of the different Google apps, you'll be able to do this. So I'm gonna go to share and once again, it opens up this window this time I'm going to show you the get link option. So if I click on this, it'll open it up for me and you'll see that there's a link right here specifically to this doc and I can copy this link so that I can post it on a website, a blog, send it in an email or an instant message for example. So this would copy the link to my clipboard. You'll also notice that there are permissions on here. So right now, my permissions are restricted. Only people added can open with this link. So that means only people that I added up in this section right here will be able to open it. But I don't want that. I want to share with more people. So if I click the drop down arrow, 
you'll see I have more options. I can share with my school or my organization. Oftentimes schools will have this set so that your only options are restricted or shared with the school. You will not, your child may not be able to share outside of the actual school organization. And this is obviously for security purposes. However, sometimes you may see anyone with a link can view, which is something that I have available to me, meaning that you don't need to belong to tech school. If I give you the link, you will be able to see my document. So I can share it with anyone, not just people at tech. So you would choose one of these options. So right now, I'm gonna go with tech school and you'll see anyone in this group with the link can view, right? So it's not anyone in the school, it's anyone in the school with the link, right? They would still need to have the link. And you can see over here, they are going to be viewers. And if I wanted to change this to editor or commenter, I could do that just like we were talking about before. And if I copied the link, I could send it out. When you're finished, simply click done. So there you have it, easy as that, a few different ways and methods to share a document inside Google Drive. I'm Christine, I hope you enjoyed this video of tech skills for parents.